it's been amazing being in the month of October. I know the men are super, super excited. In fact, in the studio right now, there's been a lot of cheers for, you know, the breast cancer awareness thing, especially when, it, you know, it, if you see my set completely today, you see that I have a lot of men in the studio. Interestingly, my name is Leslie B, the Okunfi Princess, and we are streaming live on Facebook at ETV Ghana. I'm you know, no. Uh, Moonjai will comment in fact. So in fact, last week's episode has been trending because of some of the advices that the midwife left for us. And I know them being for the CCR. Oh, your nan could turn more years, please. Ben Kofo, Biniba, Nakoko, na in Yania for Yafi Debbie. We've been advised not to do it that way. So you can actually go to uh, Facebook at ETV Ghana and leave in your comments any question that you leave. Rev Marie, you know, uh, she, she's here today. It looks like I'm exposing my guests very early, but we'll have to go for a break. When we come back, you get to see their faces. So make sure you stay with us and can't get the Adonko Next Level Premium Energy Drink. I'll be serving you with the beauty tips. My name is Leslie Bibi Kofi Princess. We'll be back to vibe with you. Welcome back with more smiles today. It's going to be interesting. I told you earlier, and please, Director Bacho, try me set. No, may I zoom in the crowd and may introduce my guests in because then the set no more here than Kaza. And we will debut the Tarimuaha, and we are going to watch the brat today. In fact, today we are going to talk about the no brat day. During the week, we celebrated the no brat day, and what I saw on social media was people going braless and all that. But as to what it signifies, we don't know. Most of us do not know, but today we are going to learn right here on Girl Vibes. So I have with me a beautiful midwife who happens to be a life coach as well. Our very own Rev Marie. Hello, Rev. Hello. With a touch of thing, eh? No yes. Ice caca. In fact, I'm also in the debia. But how far? How are things moving? By great. Mm. Things are well. Mm. I hope you are well too. Sure, I'm good. Okay. We're in the tenth month, oh. so sure. it's like the year is running so fast. Yeah, of how course. How's the situation? Yes, um, mm. so far God has been good, okay. and we are still looking up to Him for mm. um, the other mm. months mm. ahead. Mm. And mm. being in the month of October, it's been the breast cancer awareness mm. month. How's it feeling as a midwife? It feels so great. Mm. Um, as a midwife, this is the time that you get to educate your clients or patients about breast care and mm. breast cancer mm. and um, this is the time that um, people become aware of the aspect of the breast so it helps okay. we are getting to know um, some hidden mm. infections and lumps mm. in this very month mm. so october is is, is really helping us mm. it's making us detect um, diseases and cancers early okay. yeah okay thank you for your job in <laughs> fact th this is the month that i think you're going to get a lot of people visiting you know to check up the lamps yeah. and everything thank you and also my next guest guess who she is in fact if you see the brass here the boss here and oh the balls then it should tell you that rita mousy is back today on set with us and we are going to talk about brass she is the ceo of delicate underwords and more you know why because you always come with my babies and when i see them i get excited yeah how did you know i can see that today they came with their uniforms and all that but it's fine <laughs> uh, on the weekends going for classes yeah, and all that yeah. and seeing them you know i get so excited and october sales near then because i know it's a month for bra awareness creating for breast cancer are people buying brass now Oh, they are. Mm. They are. Mm. Mm. Which size are they buying more? <laughs> <laughs> Which size are they buying oh, more? Oh, mm. they are buying all the all sizes. sizes, yes. Okay. Mm. And today you promised to wash. Yeah. To teach us how to wash yes. our brass. Yes. Which of them are you going to teach us all? all yeah, the I'll teach you how to wash the normal one, okay. that's the cloth one, mm. and then uh, the lace ones, okay. how to wash them. Okay. All right, so I have Mousy here and Rev Maria too is here. And today we are discussing No Bra Day, the significance of going braless for breast cancer awareness. Oh, do on the 13th of October, because they know they are going to see the boobs, braless and all that. But I don't get it. I don't know why the men get excited. Rev, do you know why? 
I think I, I know why. Tell me. Because right from birth, okay. that is what they are exposed to. Ah. That's the first thing they are exposed to right okay. after birth. So mm. Mm. they become enthused about it okay. and they tend to grow up mm. loving them. Oh. Yes. So that's the reason. Yes. It makes lots of sense. <laughs> I love your reason anyway. So it's fine. They can love it. But when we talk about the no bad day, mm -hmm. getting more serious now. When we say no bad day, what is it? Okay. So um, no bad day, mm. no bad day is um, actually a day that has been set aside mm. to create um, breast cancer awareness. Okay. It was formally introduced by a Canadian doctor called mm. Dr. Michelle Brown. Mm um in toronto canada okay. and then um this was to motivate mm -hmm. the um survivors of breast cancer mm. at that time so it was first um named bra day okay. the bra is an abbreviation mm -hmm. the b stands for breast okay. the r stands for reconstruction mm -hmm. and then the a is awareness okay. so it was called bra day that's breast reconstruction awareness day, day. Okay. yes um it was first celebrated on 9th july 2011 okay. and then it was shifted to october 19th mm -hmm. but now we celebrate it on te um, 13th october, october which is last thursday mm -hmm. yes to create awareness that even if you've had breast cancer before mm -hmm. um there's still a chance to do a plastic surgery a reconstruction yes so it is not really about um romance or sex people okay. think that no brother means um mm -hmm. jaguso uh, yes boobs. make it enticing and all mm. that no but that was the main motive mm. yes okay but so so why then has it changed you know seeing people going braless on the day with, you know, the breast shooting, the nipple shooting all over the place. Even at offices, you see people going no bra because they tell, hey, today is a no bra day. Okay, so um, we realize that a lot of times we cover up the bra. Mm -hmm. And so um, it doesn't get the chance to mm -hmm. relax. And so um, it is no bra day mm -hmm. so that um, throughout the year, at least, mm -hmm. if your bra has not relaxed, that day should be set aside mm. for the bra to relax. Okay. Most of the times um, at the hospitals, when they come, we tell them to um, go braless at night. Okay. But um, you find out that we have nursing mothers, breastfeeding mothers that can go braless at night mm. because they need it for support. Mm. And sometimes um, because of the breast milk um, coming out and all yeah. that, they have to protect it so that it doesn't soil the bed sheet mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. So no bra day is um, actually a day that after everything, like throughout the year, mm. we, um, should I say legally or? Okay. Yes, we, we have legally accepted that at least that day should the be observed. Be whether you have breast cancer or not, it mm. should be observed mm. so that the muscles of the breast will relax and it will improve the general breast health care. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So is it okay to go braless or no bra day to the office in your, your corporate space? Okay, so if you are a corporate person, mm. you can go um, braless at home and oh not in the in office because it's very enticing as mm. you know mm. so even though we are saying no brad day no brad day it doesn't mean when you are <laughs> going to the office or when you are coming on set mm. you 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 do that but the men at offices you know mostly try to expect the ladies going braless on, on <laughs> brad day it looks like they're taking their happiness away on that day so they won't agree with you right. well but ideally mm. It is supposed to be exposed okay. um, when um, it is not posing any um, mental health issues. Okay. Because if I say I'm going braless at the mm. office, I will disturb someone's mental health. Wow. So I have to do it okay. with wisdom. I have one cameraman, mm -hmm. Tafik. Shout out to him. <laughs> if you go braless before this man, in fact, he will shout the whole day and jump for you. I don't know why he's a lover of breast like that. In fact, 
So because of him this year, I think all the ladies are going to go off bra just to celebrate for him in, in the next coming year. But this year, this year, I'm there. And man will be here and I should be on shit. He'll be as well shit. Nobody, it looks like my, the whole of my office, nobody, you know, went ballet. But, you know, I think what you were saying brings us to that. Now, let me come to Mousy. I'm not on bra, no. And to get me to know you, the benefits of it in Guya to go bra on that day. Now, you know, how, how it affects her too as an individual who sells bra. Mousy. <laughs> How do you feel? You know, sales go down, eh? Mm. Um, go down a little mm. bit. Okay. But uh, let me just come in with mm. this. I think no bra day yeah. doesn't really mean that you should go bra right. Um I think that day is really cautioning us okay. uh, to go to um, a healthcare centre to, like, have our bra our, our, our boobs check okay. yes mm. so um i um i think um going braless going braless is, is not really like mm. not wearing bra or whatever mm. you know it's underway mm. market goes on whatever happens market goes on oh, people yeah. can buy it and put and it down and all yeah. that yes so it doesn't affect the yes, market please. that's yes. good news now today we have uh, a red bra on set Mm -hmm. Tell us, you know, more about it. What's the name of the bra, first of all? Okay. What type of bra is it? This is, is a plunge the bra. One or <laughs> it's a plunge bra okay. because it, it goes, th there is, the cut here is like a little bit down. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yes. So this is a plunge bra. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, we we gathered some, you know, couple of uh, brass for for our viewers to watch, so that you can tell us more in details about it. So, uh, director, if it's ready, good, thank you. So, Mousy, tell us uh, about this bra. I know it's it has no hands. Yes. Uh, so, what's the name for this it's, type it's of bra? It's called strapless bra. Strapless. Strapless okay. bra. Okay. This one doesn't have like straps at all. Okay. So this this particular bra mm -hmm. goes with. Uh, off shoulder dresses, okay. spaghetti dresses, mm -hmm. and, and tops, and all that. Okay. Yes. So okay. this one is a strapless bra. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about this one? This, this is the foamy one, eh? It's a push up bra. Ah, it has lots of foam. <laughs> I can see that. It pushes your breast up a little bit. Mm. Yes. Mm. So this one, have you seen the foams in there? Yeah. It, it gives the breast a little push. Uh -huh. So this is, uh, will definitely be for people with small breasts, right? So that the foam can at least make it look a bit yes, thinner. Yes, uh, okay. yes. Mm. Mm. So, and what about this one too? This is a multi-purpose bra. Multi-purpose bra. Yeah, this one, it goes with any attire at mm. all. Okay. You know, you can take off the straps, you can mm -hmm. cross the straps, you can do... Um, uh, backless and all that so it's like a co it's, it's converted mm. one bra with different um, um, purposes okay. with different purposes mm. yes mm. all right the next one uh, plunge bra i think this is the one we call it anita bra now nah. <laughs> anita <laughs> <laughs> people call it anita bra really? i don't know why eh. usually they call it the anita bra maybe because it's uh, been loose or I don't know why, but interestingly, people call it the Anita bra. The reason why they call it the, can we go back again so that I can? Uh -huh. Okay, good. The reason why they call it the plant bra mm -hmm. is because it goes down, like there is a space down here. Okay. In between your boobs. The boobs. Yes. Mm. So maybe with an office shirt mm. or low cut dresses, you can wear this kind of, okay. this kind of this bra. This type of bra. Yes, please. Okay. Is that all? Yeah, we can go to the next one. Okay, so yes. we can go to the next bra to talk about it. Uh, okay. okay, this is a plunge bra, two in one. Mm. Have you seen how the cut is in front? Yeah. It's very down. In between the boobs? Yes, it's very down. Okay. And then it's a backless bra. Okay. There is, there is, it doesn't have back at all. And this one is, is best for small boobs. Okay. If your boobs is too heavy it can't hold it because mm. it's that tight it's going to hold it at a tight okay. 
Yes. So it will weigh you down. It will. Yeah, 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 yeah. That much. Yes. Oh, interesting. Thank you for that education. <laughs> now we've, we've gotten to know the types of yeah. bras. So I believe now you know the type of bra that will fit whatever dress you want to match it up. If you want to wear a bare back, you know what to fetch it up. Your official dresses, you know which one to rock it with. Now, I also want to know, how do I get to know the size of bra that will fit my breast? Okay. It's, when I want to buy a bra. Yeah, it's, it all boils down to mm. the measurement. Okay. And also sometimes we do bra fitting. Mm. Is that yes. why we have the board here? Yes. Today? Thank yes, you. exactly. Mm. So you get the teachers? <laughs> yes. Okay, so you can have your pen okay. or your board yes. mask and, and okay. uh, get us into details too. So, okay. mm. so first so of all, I mean the market now, <laughs> I'm at a, you know, delicate and I want to know yes. the bra you yes. know, to wear. What should I consider personally? Okay. First of all, when you come to us mm. and you want your, you want us to take your measurement, yeah. we don't just go ahead and take your measurement just like that. Okay. When you are when you are coming to our end, mm. we ask you to wear a non-padded bra. This this one is padded. Okay. So when we you wear this, no, we can't use it. So mm. it should be like, you should wear a bra that is non-padded. Okay. Yes. What about being braless? Oh, uh, because we need support. We okay. need to get the the two nipples straight. Okay. So sometimes when you don't wear bra at all, it drops a little. Okay. So I'm not sure yeah, it doesn't mm. give us the exact um, measurement, measurement that, that we that wanted. Okay. Yes. So we let you get a non-padded bra. Mm -hmm. Then after we measure the underbust. If we say the underbust, this is the underbust. Okay. This is the. Where the metal yes. pin is. Okay. This is the underbust. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so our underbust is 26. 26. Yeah. Okay. So 26. Mm. And, and what then do we measure after then? we measure the bust. Mm. have to touch the two nipples. Okay. The two nipples. Normally, when you measure and it's, it, it's, it's odd, have you seen it's 33? 33. We don't take it, so we have to run into 34. Number. We have to get an even number. Okay. So 34. Okay. Mm. In bra measurement, uh, Be before you continue, yes. I want to know why, you know, after measuring myself and then I get to know it's an odd number, why do I even have to add uh, at least that? Yes, inch because um, we, we have to get the, the exact uh, measurement in, in, in an even number. It's not supposed to be in an odd, odd number. number. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. But I if I get an even number, is it not going to be bigger than my boobs? No, it won't be bigger. It, it won't be, it okay. won't be bigger. Just an inch won't, won't yes. have anything there. Yes. All right. So um, in bra measurements, mm -hmm. we have to take two things into consideration. All right. Um, when you measure, when you measure the underbust, mm. and it's, uh, what's the name? It's, in, it's an even number. Yeah. You have to add four. You have to add four, four. to the number yes. that is high. Yes. Okay. So we of measured the last 26. It's an even number. So mm -hmm. we are adding what? Four. Four. Okay. okay. If it were to be 25, we mm -hmm. have to add five. Because it's an odd number. 25 is an odd number. Mm. So if it were to be 25, mm -hmm. we have to add 5. five. But now it's, we measured and it's, it's an even number, 26. Okay. So we have to add 4. four. So we we'll add 26 plus 4. Which will be 30. 30. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do is that we have to subtract this one uh -huh. from this. The underbust from the... We subtract the underbust from the bust. Okay. So 30, 34, sorry, minus 30, 30. which is 4. 4. Uh -huh. Okay. It's 4. Yeah. Okay. So we have a chart here. When we... It's 4. So it's 4 on the chart is D. Do you understand? 
I think you need to explain the chat properly for me because what, what does the D signify? What does the C? Because I know if I'm going to buy bra, sometimes you say the 36 D, yes. 36B. Yes. Those A's and B's, what does it mean yes. maybe before you continue? Because with the when, when you add up, yeah. when you add up, mm -hmm. you are not going to get it in letters. You get it in what? In, in figures. Okay. So after getting it in figures, mm. you have to like bring it down, like write your instead of writing them like this that is not this like this is not in bra language okay so when in case you get o mm -hmm. or zero mm -hmm. in bra language is a a a a okay do you understand okay uh -huh. we we did a subtraction and we, we got what four so in bra language is d i'm not getting you <laughs> i'm not getting you so after subtracting the figure that you get is, yes. is what gives you the alphabet yes, yes. okay okay i yes. get you now so mm. now uh bust is what 34. 34 so that the this thing is what 34 mm. d d okay oh. do you get it now? i get it now i get yes, it now yes, yes. i get yes. it now interestingly Okay, so now when we go to the market and we hear of the 36D, yes. the 34Cs and whatever, this is the meaning. This is After the After subtracting meaning. the yes. figures that you get, yes. break down, goes down with the yeah. ABCD. But how, how will I know that D is uh, 4, C is 3, B is that's 2, you and A <laughs> is 1? That's how you have to do the calculation. Without okay. the calculation, you can't get it. Mm. Somebody will come to the shop or come to you um i need a bra mm. you ask him or you ask her what's what's your bra size that is why she you have to watch girl vibes mousy yeah. this is some <laughs> of the reasons why you have to watch girl vibes in fact you, you won't get this anywhere for you to get to know into details all this information make sure you watch girl vibes every time because so i was frankly i was confused yes. because getting to know the yes. breakdown of the alphabet and yes. funny enough in numbers a is one and b is two yes. which I, but we go to the market we hear 36 b and all that yeah like, which yes. one is the d which one, i yes. know i wear 36 but what from the d yes. and c so can we go on so, so, we get to know that? so when we say 36 34 d okay d is the the the, the cup okay. of the bra okay. so when you when you hear a b c d d d d d d, d it's up to G, H, all that. Mm. So when you hear when you hear D or whatever, they are talking about the cup. The cup. The cup. Okay. And then when you, you, you uh, they talk about the figure, the figure is the underbust. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Uh huh. So when somebody comes to you, what's your bra size? The person will just say, I'm 34. And I say, 34 what? Because I can get the underbus very right, but your cup size will be a, a, like yeah. it's 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 yeah. to create a lot of confusion. So I have to get both the cup size and then the underbus right, Correct. and then I'll I'll know what Correct. to give you. Correct. Yes. Interesting. So that is the calculation. That yes. is how to get your measurement as the lady before you get uh, your toy of bra. Thank you, Mousy. And I know uh, in choosing the bras, uh, we know there are certain colors that we need to, you know, have to mix up as ladies in order to be able to rock whatever colors that we want to rock confidently. So we go for a break. And when we come back, we get to talk about the colors, how to rock them, and a kind of bra to wear anytime, anywhere. We'll be back after this. Okay, so now you know some fruits that, you know, safeguard you against uh, breast cancer as we are celebrating the month of breast cancer awareness. Welcome back. You are watching Girl Vibes. In case you just tuned in, we are talking about No Bra Day, the significance, the reason why you see ladies going braless on the 13th of October. And, you know, they'll be flaunting it all over, especially social media. And I'm being flaunting my own day. So, uh, in fact, uh, we are celebrating it. In f though we celebrate it during the week, I know today is Saturday, so... Whilst, uh, whilst you're watching, you can be braless. You're home. Last week we learned it here. When you're home, allow the breast 
to rest uh, and allow the bathroom to rest somewhere. Mousy is here. Uh, she is an entrepreneur. She's into selling of handies. And on you measure my job and all bra. In fact, see, she has one who is 36D and there. Obi Krawa, in fact, all will be here who mash on us and here we are. So, Mousy, mommy, who said, Miss she be another be an Indian. Now, you so the men too, I believe you're watching. If you're watching on Facebook at ETV Ghana, leave your comments there. Now you know how to, you know, measure your wife's breast and get her the right bra to wear. Rev. Akwaba. Say, say yes, uh, Can it be harmful to us? And in what state can a bra be harmful to the breast? You being a midwife. Okay. Mm. Um. So bra, bra na yako to It depends on baby a yako to bra no. Mm -hmm. Say o koto no wo baby a any hygienica. Yeah. You know, say any hygienic, so. Mm -hmm. There will be some infections, mm. and be be a be better home. Okay. But o ko wo to say mousey shopper, mm. you know what you will get. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. Inti the the place okay. of buying the bra mm. should be considered in the okay. first place, mm. and now the size of the bra should also be considered. Okay. Because um obi wo hono ma ne breast esusa. Okay. Into a better size, a year lower than mm -hmm. the breast. Like me, I have small breast, mm -hmm. but my quack or top breast, uh, cap bra. no, mm -hmm. um, sorry, bra, mm -hmm. cap no, a year ketua cry yeah. because me was small breast. Said and bear me sha, a bear ma a bastro for people to cry. think, say, mm -hmm. me will be brave. Into a hono, you are constricting the muscles mm -hmm. of the breast. And a muscles and so all constricting a bra and boa a bra a yadin nibufu. You understand? Okay. Yes. And also, Obi a honso and nufu do so pa into a cotta bra. No, I toddy a brony size so send a bear a ninina a becum. Sometimes a bear toddy any um, metal. So a toddy any metal a mm -hmm. nufu do so sana. Afe breast no they be a relax it into the breast will become used to the fact say a relax it no into they be an ebe tiego okay ebe a go go sa but I was say unhu o bright side say the mouth see can ye no so that you can choose the right bra be my breast no aye can tampo like ebe jina that's the term sa eja ye ye di relate in health education ya wa go go ni o can tampo agogo ye sa de ago na ada no e na can tampo ye de e posi na ejina ho no inti no se we inti me hu sa na e ma we ya eti mi ma wo enya infections in the first place Number two, Emma, we are here. We have back pain, chronic back pain. Mm. Because remember, say, a wash tried to maintain a chill. In today, be ano, oh, oh, feel free, we we chi. Ena ye makeup no, some bones, any some nerves, ne arteries, be oh no ma. Eni say ye ye shenu be brave, but oh shenu. Um, you, are you, are it. It. Mm. you are putting pressure on it. Even the spinal cord no mm -hmm. shape no cramp mm -hmm. no a S shape. Okay. Into usha bra imia wa for some time ah. Mm -hmm. It can even affect the makeup of your spinal, spinal cord. Ube nya spinal issues. Wow. Yes. So if you don't consider these factors that we are mentioning on girls' bra, it's na wa oye de opa. We nya infection from unhealthy place a uto adiena. Ubenya um, um, diseases, and I say a bit changing the makeup mm. and the anatomy of your mm. body. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, on that note, my yenda a drunk on next level premium energy drink of us. One of the PI was to hear my yenda beauty tips. No, and I'm a shut up and I'm my reverend day. Eh, dumb tips no so can't win in a can't. Now, also, now a pair energy drink. Ah, and no, not a real juma. In fact, I'll be born may deliver what tax on on time on any I don't connect level premium energy drink. I exercise with you now, Brenna, even though air pants and here energy no, I am not to a don't connect level 
premium energy drink. A war supermarket, a war mat, a war shop, na a pe energy drink at all. Papa America Mendemo, ya donko nest level premium energy drink. Call them on 020 489 8698 and 059 And today I promised you that we were good, we are actually going to teach you how to wash your bra. Bra no go host to my mom and the more her term. Then Pepepo, you and I said, Well, one day now that I had to give no answer, my no corny baby. But then, then we have Mousy here, and she's going to teach us how to wash our bra. And to Mousy, uh, kindly pull up your bow and tell us uh, in washing our bra, and cry, uh, Abazina, you use him for her. A baby's in Sunoko, or they heat to a jado. And if you do, we have to heat or warm the water before we wash, uh, we use the washing, mm -hmm. or we can use just the normal water. Is it also safe to even wash your bra in a washing machine? We'll get to know all that right here. I start to pull in your bows. I can see a toothbrush. I don't know whether we are going to brush our teeth or we're going to brush the bra with it. And I can see we also have a face towel, right? And the bra we have in different types. We have the, uh, which one is this? We have the normal one. The normal the one? one? Okay. Yes. And we also and have the Anita bra here. That's how we hear people calling it on the market into a command of pass. So we have the Anita bra, which mostly we know uh, and the hip one, which is for we, the young ladies, you know. So Mousy, please, uh, do, do we need uh, warm water or just the ordinary, you know, no, cool water that we all. use in the ocean? We need, we need just, just cool water is, mm. is, is okay. Okay. Um, let me start by saying this. Mm. Before you start washing your bra, okay. You need to like soak it for like 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. you can choose to just add um, a detergent, mm -hmm. a, a very a mild detergent. yeah detergent. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of killing the bacteria and all that, you can drop a white vinegar. Okay. White vinegar. No need for antiseptic. Oh, uh, antiseptic. Mm -hmm. I. You can use it to raise it, but just just a drop, a drop just okay. something no small. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes. But for the white vinegar, it it kills all the bacteria. Okay. Yes, okay. and then and, and, and since uh, we have a midwife here, let me also ask okay. her so okay. at least she can tell us what we're going to continue okay. with the washing. Uh, Madam midwife. But I believe you know what yeah. I'm talking about. Those are the quid, you know, things that we use in washing. Yeah. Uh, is it healthy to use them in washing? Yes, it, it's very healthy, especially for the breastfeeding mothers. Okay. Because uh, breast milk, uh -huh, we advise, say, uh, and if you can't afford, you can just use the normal salt. Salt, yes, okay. You can put salt in the water, okay, and then it will do justice to it. Thank you so much. It's a mouse in patrol. Thank you. Sorry, not a sassy my hand. The water, too. I was asking, do we need warm water or just the ordinary cold water? Ordinary water is water, yeah. okay. So yeah. now you have because your water. when you use mm. like warm water mm -hmm. or probably sometimes people even use hot water very hot yeah water. remember this and thing you is see the vapor yeah, it's, it's elastic mm. hey. hey today our boy please help us <laughs> oh, just a yeah thank you okay it's, it's one of those things never mind let's continue <laughs> washing our bra so so uh -huh. when you add hot water you are damaging the, the bra okay yeah, you, you you end up washing after washing it and then everything is like mm. it's, it it's, it's no more perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So how do we, which one are we starting? First? Let, let's the start with bra. the one that I've I've stuck. I'm going to squat a little bit. Right. <laughs> yes. Mm. So uh, let's just uh, say that we've we've um, soaked this for fifteen minutes. Okay. okay. So what we we'll do is that with our toothbrush, mm. you see where the metallic, uh, the metallic this thing is. Yeah. 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 You wash it. This one I think is a little bit hard. Okay. We have to use it's a, a softer soft one. one. Okay. So you because it's too hard, mm -hmm. it's uh -huh. So you wash it nicely. Mm. Wash it. You, you can see it's yes. going. Yes, yes, I can see that. 
So you wash it. You wash it very nicely. Then with the straps, mm -hmm. you wash it nicely. Okay. Do you always have to start from the metal part of it? Yes, because okay. there, the sweat and everything goes in mm. there. You said this is a push-up bra. Yeah. It's a push-up bra. So when you it soaks in the it sweat. soaks in the sweat. Mm. That's why you don't have to wash your. You don't have to wear your bra more than once. I've been saying it, mm -hmm. and you see, you see how it is. Yeah. So if you keep on wearing it, you think it's okay. Mm -hmm. but, but just look at the way it has yes, soaked the water. Yes. See how it has soaked the water. Mm. You see. Uh huh. So you you wash it mm. nicely with a brush, mm. with a brush, nicely. Mm. I'm just demonstrating, so I can <laughs> yes. Mm. So, so, yeah, so after off. washing, mm -hmm. after washing the metal part, yes. Where after that? washing the metal part, mm. you don't squeeze, squeeze it. Like it we don't do that. Mm. That's why you need to have enough water. Okay. So you, after washing it, okay. you take it okay. and straight to another the water, next water the next water mm -hmm. so the water has to be like more okay so that it takes off all the, the lava yeah the, the foam and everything remember we don't do this okay. we don't do that when you do that the the metal mm -hmm. it weakens it. it not that it's weak it's it turns it yeah. okay it turns it that's why we have the towel here mm -hmm. okay so this towel, you can choose to get a bigger towel. Okay. So you just pat it. So the towel is going to take all the water, the water from, it. from it. Remember, use a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So when you are done, you just hang it on the drying line. Yeah. Okay. So with the next one, because the toothbrush... The Anita bra, that's what <laughs> call it. So. Yes. Because yeah, the, the toothbrush to is hard. Okay. Or it's it it can pull out because it's net. net. Yes. So you soak it mm -hmm. overnight mm -hmm. or for fifteen minutes. Okay. Remember, don't don't wear your bra more than once. Okay. Other than that, you end up doing this. Mm -hmm. So for once with the net bra, fifteen minutes, mm -hmm. soak it. Wash it gently. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I told you. <laughs> that is Kapidi. In fact, he's a lover of bra. You see? And, you, know, you just no wash it gently. Shake it. Yeah. Shake yeah. it. Remember, don't squeeze, squeeze it. it. Yeah. Put you it go into to the next bowl with water. enough water mm. to take off all this. Because mm. if you have ladder in it, you you, oh, you you are yeah. going to give yourself another uh, health hazard altogether. Okay. So enough water to raise it. Okay. Maybe if you raise it here, you think there is like more lather in it. Take it to the next bowl. like next like next bowl. When With you are water. done, then you hang it. You pat it, and then you hang it dry. Please, yes. my cameramen are asking why you chose to bring only. White bra. Please, I'm going to press on. I'm going to your question yes, for you. Because so. the white bras, mm. like you see the dirt. Yeah. If it were to be black bra, yeah. you know, people wear black bra for like, for like a month. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, a yeah, year. For a month. Without yeah. washing it because it's yeah. black. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very bad. Mm. 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 People do it. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Thanks for this education. In fact, yeah. I know uh, most ladies do not do this at home. But I'm they are falling flat. And since it's there, we know you get your toothbrush and your bowl of water. And you don't need the warm water or the hot water, as some people will heat water for like, uh, and then pour it on it and then add the detergent and antiseptic. Please, you don't need them. All you need is your bowl with normal water. And then you soak it for 15 mi uh, minutes, as Mousy said. And then you get your brush clean it, get to the next water, and then you clean it under the sunlight. Nine. Okay. Mm. Mousy, let's go for a quick break. When we come back, we get to learn more today on Girl Vibes. 
Yes, welcome back. This is Girl Vibes on ETV Ghana. In fact, and then no topic now, so we tell you, pop, 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 but I am Ryan, so we have to go. But before we go, I want to know, Mousy, how do we keep our brats? How do we fold them? And what should we keep them in our wardrobes or in our suitcases? Okay. Mm. Right, no, yeah, well, we have different types of, of like keeping them. Okay. Sometimes you you can hang them on the on on a hanger. Mm -hmm. You can pack them nicely in your wardrobe. Okay. We have different types. Mm. We have um, a bra a bra bag mm. that you can also yeah. Okay. So we okay. have all those. So ones. that's the bra bag yes. on the screen. This one, when you are traveling or you are going somewhere, mm -hmm. you don't have to pack your bras and your panties with your clothes all together. together. No, you, you need to get the a panty bra. bar. Okay. To yeah. Okay, this so one too is nice. Yes. I think this is very convenient. Yes. Yeah. So you pack so hang it. You hang it. Mm. Yes. That one is the, the one before this looks like a it's in a hanger form, so you can even hang it in your car. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's a girl's girl's trip or something. Yes. So yes, it's good to yes. go. Okay, thank you. And then you we can equally hang it on the hanger. One, yeah. All right. Okay. All right, thank you. Rev, uh, breast cancer awareness, uh, yes, say October at as the month for celebrating breast cancer awareness. Do you think it has been uh, impactful enough? It's really been impactful mm. because first, no, ye be who breast cancer, na ni pan obeu, a do last stage a obeu. But because of Pink October, ah, ye dear, see what say, ye be create awareness, ninti no. Now, every female mostly are aware of um, their self when it comes to breast care. Okay. And the men as well, mm. because the men also have breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So this month, Nankasa no education ni awareness na ye yen abwa amaye detect early, mm. so that it doesn't even the cancer doesn't get to the last stage. And now po se in develop people into cancer na ya swa no entem. So it's really been impactful because even at my workplace mm. now it has increased. El, um, uh, uh, the uh, number of people yes, coming our in numbers to check up too. because on a that. normal day, mm. Ghana for your pet check up, yeah. but because of pink October yeah. breast cancer awareness, yeah. needs you know, people are ab able to walk into our facilities boldly mm. to say, say, or more, but yet breast examination, and it is, it is very positive, mm. it is very positive. So, gradually, we are getting there, mm -hmm. it's been okay. so impactful, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, gradually next week we'll be talking about breast cancer itself as a topic so make sure you do not miss it and then we'll get to examine the breast we'll get to teach you how to self-examine for breast cancer just in, in case there's some lumps in the breast you know so you can visit a doctor so next week is going to be interesting as well thanks to rev uh, maria and thanks to mousy the sweeter ceo ah. of delhi kids <laughs> and more and today i have a special gift for the two of you we appreciate you from the team of girl vibes we say thank you to you and we don't just want you to go we have a product well packaged from onga ilele from rev mari and then mousy but rev enya onga abis banners the onga ya or your depa oh by any consumer stew Rice for and you. tomato stew. Thank you. Um, mitimide ye agushi stew. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mitimide ye jollof rice. Kakra. <laughs> Kakra. Mm -hmm. And a um, man a very nice taste. And me and Kasano me pet spices, but me ready onga. And hono me share ingredients. No, they are very helpful to the body, like to our system. Inti no. Uh, me, 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 me,
onga keeps no na be so fee. Na eh ya onga de go for you know make sure de a bottle leave tomato paste in that I for your corner yen. Why you won't contum rest you become a come up and then one year for making sure they come market a bottle leave tomato mix. I was pro market na a pen loop uh leave tomato mix and then a tona fra one was zero five zero one four zero one zero eight five a fra one na was a baby bro. A pencil from one zero three three two zero nine five three one four. Uh, Joe Waha, awesome and catch your day. Sunday, what was 6 p.m. and patch up for radio and photo happy 98.9 FM. We are starting the happy Bible quiz. In fact, in Yuminga, Miss Tama, this is the time for you to learn more and get to know Christ on happy 98.9 FM. This year, Yasha say a uh, contestant, you know, this year, no, in fact, last year, it's here, yeah, this year is going to blow your mind. In fact, intelligent contestants that are going to battle out to win amazing prizes. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, so, 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 so uh, coming Sunday, which is what's now, making sure that it's Sunday 6 p.m. as a uh, radio, no, as what to happy 98.9 FM. Do all what details will be up and then catch up, but don't worry. Yami, I do my see for it's going to be for five good weeks and to make sure that Sunday, Viano, as a bottle one for the five uh, good weeks, make sure you hail each church. We have the Methodist church this year, you know, I'm a Methodist lady, so please, me Methodist from Mobile Mamu Gumi Massacre, Pentecost of Fuum. So this year, the competition is very, very tight, and we have some individuals in there as well. It's Sunday, we are making a date to call a friend to tell them to get to learn the word of God and know Christ on happy 98.9 FM. Joel Makawasa Mamu. And to me, on the package, you see, um, is a Kribama. Mousy, Mousy, Miss Ye, no, you do that. I'm all that. It's a man or those who mean to my mother. And to Mousy, if you are no one, I'm a wise thing. And Rev, this is for you. Thank you. That's a baby. Now, any that was my father in law's birthday. Uh, happy, happy belated birthday to Mr. Nicholas Ni Aqua. But that's a baby. That's a man. Come on, come on, come on. You mean sure. Now, Uncle Doma, Uncle Tintin, baby. He's such a sweet father. Happy, happy belated birthday to you. So, Rev. Final words before we go. Okay, so my final words is if you've not gone to the hospital mm. to um, go for a breast check, kindly do so and make sure you at least in the evenings mm. go braless mm. to relax your breast. Yes. Thank you. Mousy, final words like before. Um, I would just want to emphasize the, the bra. We should try not to repeat our bras. Remember, one one bra a day, mm -hmm. one bra a day. Me and my eye condition. Pre-pre-be into the next day. I'll repeat it. No, remember one bra a day. Before we go, we used to be busy all day. Instead of the brush, tooth brush, no, we to use the sponge. No more sponge. We used to go with it. Not us. But any any sponge didn't do any day. Okay. But something soft. Something soft. Mm. Is that is that washing? My name pressure and to so to do be It's good to go on that note. Let me say a big thank you to Paris House of Fashion. They be a what you come 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 and then Mr. Lioko officer, but to not a share on a Friday note. Not is a call office. Uh, I'll cross or cry or you're very decent. But to my share not is a call war casua a front one shot. They be our bedroom do not style be a friend of which you should be a which you not was more equal Instagram shot. Uh, Paris Fashion House, a cover, a bit more Instagram, not a contact of one. Now, we should talk. Come on, come on. Thanks to my team. Uh, I'll say a good night to you. Yanko Pon Kamu, not on Koto, on Shabiri. Have a good night. Thank you for watching.